Hello, this is Lance Taylor, and I'd like to talk to you today about the Lakeland Fire Department's adoption and implementation of the hand tevy system when providing pediatric medical care on scene. As many of you know, all paramedics at the department received extensive training on the hand tevy system earlier in the year, and it's actively in use. The new hand tevy system is different than how we have treated pediatric patients in the past, and I'm here along with fellow hand tevy instructor Derek McBrayer to remind everyone that the new hand tevy system creates better results for the patient. But it's important to trust in the process and become comfortable in how it may play out on a medical scene. It is very important to keep in mind that you will spend more time on scene providing life-saving care then and there when possible, rather than picking up the patient as soon as possible and sending them to the hospital. This extended time on scene may make some EMTs or traditionalists uncomfortable, but we're here to assure you that it's okay. Become comfortable allowing the paramedic at the scene to control care provided. As a reminder, the hand tevy system employs the following methods on scene. As a result, it may create extended times on scene. However, we believe it will create better outcomes for our patients based on the latest studies on pediatric patient outcomes. When using the hand tevy method, it's critical to accomplish five benchmarks before transporting the patient. These five benchmarks correlate with the first five letters of the alphabet. A stands for ARRIVE. ARRIVE includes the pre-arrival information included with your notes from the MDT. This hopefully gives the age so that way you can determine the weight of the patient. In addition to the weight of the patient, it is important to assign crew members specific roles prior to arrival so that everyone is on the same page. The B stands for BVM. Statistically, most pediatric cardiac arrests originate from respiratory distress, so it is critical that the airway be controlled early. This includes intubating the patient before transport. C stands for compress. The heart must be primed in order to restart. Providers must remember to provide adequate compression depth and at a rate between 100 to 120 beats per minute. D stands for drill. For the reason that pediatric patients are difficult to gain intravenous access, it is advised to utilize the intraosseous needle initially instead of trying for an IV. E stands for epinephrine. While there is no definitive evidence to support the timing of epinephrine administration in pre-hospital pediatric cardiac arrest, there is a correlation of lower return of spontaneous circulation numbers in patients who received a delayed dose of epinephrine. You should always bring whatever equipment you may think you need. If in doubt, bring it. Uh, but 100% of the time, you need to bring that hand heavy kit. We all know that the hand heavy kit is on 100% of our Lakeland Fire Department apparatuses, and you need to bring it on scene 100% of the time because we can't always rely that other agencies we're with bring the kit with them. So we need to always be prepared to provide the best service for the customer. I believe it's just a new system that makes it easier to train you know, our, our, our individuals to be able to work on children better. Um, but as far as my role on scene, on scene is concerned, it hasn't changed any. I'm there to hold security on the scene to make sure my crew is safe, uh, to make sure my crew is doing the proper thing, to interact with the individuals on scene, the family members, to try to calm them as much as possible. Um, I'm also there to take direction from my paramedic uh, should he need any assistance at the EMT level for um, spiking bags to setting up three leads to uh, taking blood service, things of that nature that I'm allowed to do while on scene. We appreciate you taking the time to listen. With summer upon us and an increase in calls like pediatric drownings and pediatric cardiac arrests, common with children being out of school, having the system to rely on couldn't come at a better time. Trust the process, believe in the system, and as Dr. Antevi himself reminds us to think, restart the heart before you depart.